I'll call my assist here, or I'll teleport here, or I'll, I'll air dash in this direction here with just really specific, smart planning, and, and he's able to follow through. And he's also very, very good at um, confirming mm -hmm. off of straight hits or off of, you know, anything really, which is huge in this game. Anytime you can get maximum amount of damage off of any hit, you know, that's the ultimate goal. That's one of the main differences between this and other Capcom games. You get that straight hit, catching somebody <laughs> in the air with a jab, they don't pop out. You, that's on you to scoop that up. And yeah, just like you said, Filipino champ, great at that, one of the best. And look, why not? He's, if you guys didn't know, he is an evolution champ. He is yep. one of the three players that actually won Marvel vs. Capcom 3 and one of the two that won Ultimate. Bobby though, he's got so MODOK, nice. ha I don't even know what to say about this. MODOK, Hagar, Shuma, and Filipino okay. Champ wants to very see Shuma. Smart. Yeah, very smart from, uh, from Champ. You know, sometimes Shuma can be an odd character. Combos Listen, don't always hit on him. I hate fighting Shuma. <laughs> I, I, I hate it. His hitboxes are so wonky. He can be so hard to hit. Good block. Yes. What's going to be the choice from Bulby? Is he going to be offensive or is he going to try to hold his ground and hide behind his projectiles? Oh, can't bring in out Dormammu here. I really like this more so against Modoc. Really smart. Yep. That's, that's what I'm talking about with Champ. He, he made a, a gameplay decision. I'm just going to fight this out with Dormammu. He got the best out of his DAC, but he was ready to go projectile versus projectile with Modoc, and Dormammu would have had the upper hand. And now look at the position that he sets himself up against Dormammu. I mean, against Hagar with Dormammu. You ain't going to see the flame head with Hagar. <laughs> You're just not going to see it. But good patience here from Bulby. He's yeah. uh, making his way forward without taking too much damage. He's making building a lot of, a lot of meter by blocking and <laughs> dying slowly. I mean, yeah, he just ship. doesn't have much of an answer. <laughs> Don't count out Shuma. Yep, he does have X Factor available to him. If he can come in with that air quarter circle forward M, the hitbox on it almost always costs up on some characters. Chant oh, might not be no. ready for it, but it won't be this round. It looks like he X-Factor and pressed the button there, and the missiles just caught him, you know, after he pressed the button. So he did a lot of blocking <laughs> that game, but unfortunately it didn't work out. Oh no, early heavy breakthrough, but he has a lot of weird... Double movement. overhead, and Shuma's still He's in! He's still in there. Oh. Extremely fortunate case for F Champ right now. Not so much for Bulby. This, this He's gonna might, have to rely on an anchor Hagar. This might be a perfect. This might be a perfect. And and Champ could do it slow or he could do it fast. But he's gonna go do it fast with Magneto. No, he's gonna do it slow. Yeah, there's he's nothing gonna... Hagar can really do about this right now. He's gonna keep pushing him away with repulsion. This is demoralizing. It really is. He's the mayor. <laughs> I mean, can't he call somebody? Like, doesn't he have a secretary or something to help with this? I don't know. He's not yeah, going there's anywhere. Really... There's, <laughs> there's, there's no, <laughs> there's no commentary to say about this. But we've heard from the Filipino, Filipino champ in the past. He actually hates Hagar and Hagar players, and he plays like this. Two literally demoralizes them. He wants them to quit the character. He wants them to walk away and think, guess what? I could not do anything and I need to stop playing this character. But you know, the reason for that is Filipino champ, he doesn't want to deal with Larry. Right. You know, exactly. he doesn't want to just have his game plan suddenly interrupted. So he's not going to deal with it. You can't Larry I mean, it from full there screen. If there's any way to demoralize somebody, this has to be it. He cannot get in. He is on the move and Hagar is stuck. He can't really do anything. He's not, he has not even <laughs> attacked like last 10 seconds, it was all repulsions, and he still couldn't do anything. He's forced to use his X Factor now, and he's still facing the same fate he's been facing for the past like 30 seconds now. It's. I mean, there's not really a lot. I mean, he got the happy birthday within the first 10 seconds, and the whole time after that has been exactly. nothing but this. Yeah, he's just making him sad. There's really nothing I mean, else Volpe to it. He has not given up yet, but, you know, there's really not much he could do in that situation. He's making them sad and making them angry. Most players, though, <laughs> you know, you can you get into their head like that, and you expect them to not play oh, no. it as well in the next Is game. Is Champ's mindset working out here? He's like, man, should I really keep playing Hacker right now? Fight! But that is one great thing about Modoc is that in the beginning of the match, he can pretty much get out of dodge. Yeah. He can go up to the top of the screen and not really take any of those starting mix-ups. Yeah, but he's just he's not getting much off of it with this, uh, with this team competition. 
And you know, the, the defense is, is okay. Oh, he landed that hit on Magneto, but then he dashed away. He did not get anything off of it. Okay. Nice. There he goes. Okay. That's the main reason why Cham hates this character. Exactly. Now that. he's getting some gameplay going. Finally getting a chance to press some buttons here. A little bit of revenge for the mayor. <laughs> right? He's like, I'm going to finish Magneto off with Hagar right now. Does not like Ooh. that guy. Watch out for the balloon yep. bomb. He tried to stay up in the air to avoid him. Great pressure from Bulby. He just needed to get in. That's I, all he needed. I like it. I like it. I definitely like him taking down Dormammu here with his X-Factor because Dormammu is like one of Champ's strongest characters. And, and you know it's strong against Bulby's team. <laughs> he will not get over there to the other side of the screen with this team That's composition if Modoc goes down. A solid mix-up here, keeping him in the corner. He needs to avoid foot dives at all costs. He's dashing up to the top of the screen, which is kind of an area Hagger can't really get to. You can't count Filipino Champ out. He's still got the X Factor. Doom's the solid anchor, and Filipino Champ's one of the best that we've seen. Good confirmation and conversion, like you said. He's so great at picking up these stray hits. And he'll take out the big man. And you know, one of Doom's greatest option selects is that right there. You're either gonna get the grab or you're just gonna get the launch. Yep. And if they oh, block it, the you can do it. Out. He made the butter gun whiff and then just got the grab. You know Filipino Champ has a million different setups for this situation. Absolutely. Day in and day out, he's been in this situation with Doom, five meters, time to make a comeback. Now he's got the X-Factor available. If he lands a hit, say goodnight. Good nice push, push block. block. I mean, Shuma does have tons and tons of meter right now, so this really could just be down to the next hit. He, he doesn't want to sit back and get chipped out, so he's going in. But yeah, you always that take a risk when you go in, and he just got clipped. That heavy foot dive, you know, sometimes people try to get under it, or they just try to advance forward a little bit, and they get caught off guard. But Champ is going to take that. <coughs> I wonder if Boldy's going to continue to use Hagar after that. <laughs> really great play from Philip.